Hi guys, how's it going? Stephanie Oni coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. <laughs> All of a sudden my brain just went right to the book and I totally forgot what I was saying because I'm like, okay, how am I going to do this next part? And the next part is um, I still want to make these pieces here stay up so so that this book doesn't have to be viewed laying down the book will absolutely be able to be viewed standing up so um, what I'm thinking of is if I can figure out how to make a little swiveling stick that can swivel on both sides like a tongue depressor if it swivels on both sides, then it should be able to stick it up. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to try to figure out how to make it. Okay, uh, guys, new subscriber drive. Please like, comment, and share. Uh, you can share to Facebook or you can share to a playlist. Any of those things help. Um, trying to get to 700. If I get to 700, I will give one prize. If I get to 750, I'll give a second prize to a second person. If I get to 800, I'll give a third prize to a third person. I'm thinking along the line of one of my art canvases for each prize. I don't know for sure yet because that's a lot of work and that's a $95 value for each prize. So not sure if that's what I'm going to do, but they will be good prizes. Um, so, one way to get a point, like, comment, share, somewhere, and of course you need to be subscribed. Um, the second way to get a point is to join Patreon. If you join Patreon, you get one point, and all Patreons will get three points. All active Patreons will get three points on March 15th. And then the third way to get a point, one a day, is if you um, put a... Uh, picture of artwork that you're working on on the Messy Hand Band of Artists page on Facebook. Uh, I'm really wanting to open up an art conversation, so let's get that going, guys. Um, if you can uh, just <sighs> help a girl out, let's get those numbers back up again. We did so great in January. Let's do it one more time. Okay, I'm going to pull you down to the table. I've got about three other things that I'm thinking about at the same time. Patreons, you just got some new images today. Um, that's for our next layout. So, um, <sighs> and Patreons, I also want to do a journal with me. And um, I think I'm going to do something kind of based off of Mickey's um, very awesome rabbit that she allowed me to share the other day onto the Messy Hand Band of Artists group. So uh, we're going to do something fun with that. Just free expression and... Instead of a bunny rabbit, I, of course, want to do Pop-Tart. <laughs> I think that'd be kind of fun. See if I can do a good picture of Oz. Hopefully it doesn't suck. Because I haven't drawn for a while, and I do want to do more of that. So art journals are also practice. So we're not going to make beautiful finished pieces of art. However, if that piece does go well enough, it might be something that I would put onto a canvas at a later time. The remake. Okay, here we go. All right, Jetsu. Bah. Okay, real quickly before I move on down to this, I was just looking at this here and uh, took off those little pieces of tape because they were pretty tacky looking. Um, you know, then also I'm like, well, I'm going to have to put this down in order to work on the book more. That's kind of funky right there. I don't think I like how that's looking through. Let's do that instead. You know, it's just all about adjusting. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just pushing these guys out to their furthest points so that I can get a little more pull in here. I did make this kind of a little bit more jumbling around there so that it'll have more light up top. Uh, I do have some stars, some cool stars. So, um, you know the Tim Holtz stars? <laughs> they're, they're like quite expensive for just a few of them. I found these at Michael's <clears throat> in the jewelry section. $7.99 for this huge thing. I used my coupon on it, or I think it was on sale, 50% off. Uh, 
But look at all the cool stars in there. Now there are some clear ones too. So um, be sure to keep looking around the store. You can always find more stuff. Okay. Um, what do I want to do here? I don't know if I need to show you guys this. Uh, you know, th that's a problem. Videos get too long. They take a very long time to upload now. Um, we're still talking. It probably took me five hours to get this to upload today. The light one. Sorry. I'm just putting a simple jump ring on there. So it kind of slides. It's loose. But still, it's um, going to somewhat keep that wire together. Uh, we're trying to reduce the amount of tangling. That's what I'm trying to do, is to reduce the, the tangleage. I still might do flags, I, I don't know, because um, as it folds down, we don't want it to be a big cluster, right? So here, so if I kind of keep it open, there, to there. to there. So you'd still do definitely have this kind of big floppy mess there. But I think I've got it there for the most part. Okay. So my watch is telling me I need to walk. I've already walked the dog down to the river and back, which is a, you know, half, uh, that's, that's a half mile to get down to the river and back. It's also, um, eight flights of stairs. Okay, so, oh, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do next here. Okay, I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, to be honest, I cannot find the tongue depressors. I know that they're here somewhere. I just, nothing, you know, I just had to kind of get going. I didn't really have a chance to truly organize things. And, um, you know, so right now I'm just kind of frustrated with my space because it's not where I want it to be. So, um, we're just going to do this here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hopefully you are the right way here. Hi guys. Okay, I'm back. Um, truth of the matter is I can't find the tongue depressors right now. I have a whole bag of them. They are somewhere. There's a large bag, and I know that I have some more with uh, with my flow painting stuff, but the truth of the matter is I can't find them. And I'm so tired and so annoyed with trying to find things that I just don't really even care right now. Um, and frankly, I've done this layout for so long. Oh, how do I open this thing? How do I open this? Do I open it from the bottom? They're so packed in here. They even every single packaging is giving me problems. You know, it's kind of like... Universe, lighten up. I make everything so frustrating. Oh, there they all are. Okay. Should I see if there's a gold one? There's a gold one. Kind of like the three big ones. Here's a green. Oop, oh, Christmas. Pink. 
nice colors on these and yeah, they are basically the exact same thing. So as we can tell, this is going to make a mess somewhere in my universe because it's going to spill. <laughs> Stephanie, why don't you just put those in a bag right now? Oh, because it's much more fun to be annoyed when it spills, right? I swear to God, I drive myself crazy, guys. You know I do. That's a lot of glue for that. Let's do that. Right. A lot of glue. Pink. Now, if I can find the tongue depressors, I'll also probably put a, a stabilizer along the back of that, just to give it a little extra added oomph. Okay, we're going to have to go through and uh, take off part of that tape or glue later, but hopefully that gives us just a little added extra. And I can put a drop of alcohol ink over the top of those too, to make them, of course, watch as I turn this page. Then it turns sideways and then they slide off, you know, because, because it's me. All right, so I'm going to let that dry. Fabri-Tac dries pretty quick. It really does. Let's see if I can get that glue off. We'll be right back. All right, it's mostly glued on there, but here's a bronze colored Sharpie. Let's see if we can do anything with that. I'm just going to take down the plasticness of it just a touch. Uh, that doesn't do much. Doesn't do much at all. Okay. Well, I was hoping we could just kind of do it simply that way. I don't think we'll be able to, though. Um, here's a brown. Let's see what the brown does. Well, for some reason, this is pretty resistant stuff. Giving a little extra color. letting me grab the tops. Well, once this dries, maybe I can just draw the stays on over the top of it, huh? And one other thing I could probably do here too. Oh, here. I was going to do, uh, I was just thinking about some uh, Stabilo, but this uh, watercolor brush might be a little bit easier. To get some grunge in here. It is. So we gotta adjust color as usual. Okay. Well, hopefully those are dry enough, and I'm gonna start working on the next page. Uh, I will keep looking for the tongue depressors, and we'll see what we can do. Oh, I should probably go into town and see if my swoopy is in. My next new swoopy. All right. And for some reason now, my printer also isn't working. The yellow isn't coming up. Um, that's the image I want to work with for the journal with me. So... These guys, that's that bird again that clicks on the back. So I have these different images that I've made all about the same height, uh, very specifically that they're the same height uh, really had to search to find full length people. Um, image, image research today probably took an hour and a half. 
find all these images, you know, it's never easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep, I'm not being super exact with this. Um, cause I don't feel like I need to be super exact, uh, considering what I'm going to do with the images. Now that's not good. So I'll take that back onto there. All right. We'll be back after I get this done. Okay guys. So for this next layout, what I've chosen to do is um, based on this project by Seth Apter. And I saw him post it on um, his Facebook page. And then I went to his, this is his old blog. This is his 2018 blog. He did turn into a new one. I believe it's just under his name. Um, so this is the alteredpage.blogspot.com 2018. Anyways, this is his exquisite corpse. Um, and he co-taught this five day workshop. The workshop was originally called the exquisite course, but almost nobody signed up. We changed the chain, changed the name to lovely creatures and filled the seats here. You can read about the town, the class and the experience here. This post features the book that I made in the workshop measuring approximately four and a quarter by 10, uh, almost 11 inches. This handmade book is based on the exquisite corpse, a game where three people draw on the same piece of paper without seeing what the other has drawn. One draws a head, one's a torso, and one's a set of legs. The drawing is then unfolded to the amusement of all. So if you see here, it's uh, cuts, right? Inside the concept of the exquisite corpse was captured in the form of a flip book in three sections, head, torso, and legs. Turning each section leads to a variety of combinations of exquisite corpse lovely creatures. Here are just a few. So they had the head, the torso, and the legs. Head, torso, legs. Now this is really kind of fun and maybe... Huh. I might rethink my images here a little bit. Um, head, torso, legs. Torso, legs. Hmm. Now that I'm looking at it closer. You know, I was thinking of making the images... Uh, match up. You know, like with this one, you have one page where the whole thing would be the fish. And then as you folded it, it created different things. Now that I'm looking closer at this, do I really want to be that random or do I want to still really um, focus with the images that I've gone through and selected a ton of images here? Um, head, torso, legs. Go to shoulders, go to torso. Let's see, I'm trying to see where, these are kind of fun. Love that. So as you can see, this can really create some interesting imagery. So we're going to, I'm going to keep it with what I've chosen here. Um, and if I want to change it, I, I can change it later, right? Um, so this coloring may look off on these. I did purposely um, make all of the colors to be similar and some of them I pushed the coloring to be you know a little bit more I, I did this on purpose this was not a mistake I wanted to really push those kind of purpley colors um, just for something different you know and then this guy I just love this guy <laughs> he cracks me up so all right and how many pictures do I have here one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so I've got about twenty pages. Okay, 
So I have a lot of images to choose from. What I've already done without you guys here, of course, this is this back page. This has, I think this was four or five pages glued together and glued onto. That's what this was glued onto. So we've got a really nice sturdy page there. Sorry. And then here I have a triple. Triple is three pages glued together, right? You guys all know that, right, about me? A double is two pages glued together. A triple is three pages. I wanted these to be very stiff tags, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I do actually have seven of them. And then this back set, I am going to end up gluing together. So, do I want to do seven of them? That seems like a lot. <laughs> yes, Stephanie, that does seem like a lot. But you can't just do three or five. You have to do seven because, well, you're insane. This is a book that I found for a dollar at my local thrift store. It's a French to English dictionary. Aren't these just gorgeous pages? Uh-huh. 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 Let me know if you want some. Um, and then we're going to pull some of these pages here. Uh, well, that was from this book here, so that's kind of boring. I'm not going to do full underpants because I don't believe in um, covering up all of the cool book text that's already there. Uh, but I'm going to do some, like on the edges and such, just to give it some cool extra yumminess. And look how beautiful those pages are. Um, and then what else do I want to use? I'll probably use another, at least another one. Let me go find some more text and we'll start on this. Okay, so what I'm going to do... seven pages here. I don't know if I'm going to do all seven. I probably will just because that's me. And because it's got to be as cool as we can make it, right? And we got have images on front and back of each side. Um, so what I'm going to go through and do is I'm just going to put on, I grabbed um, some napkins. I grabbed on some things that I would have in my transparency pack, um, pages, a sewing pattern, some citrus salt. No, 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 no. It's a rock. No. I'll just bring it. Bring it here. Oh. All right. Got to go uh, retrieve the rock from the dog. Um, do you have that rock still? You do have that rock. <laughs> He's carrying it around. Okay. So I'm just going to put you guys on fast forward. Well, you know how to put on, uh, you know how to put on the base layer here. So I like to do random. I'm going to leave bits of the actual type in here. Um, and since we will have images over the center, I'm not going to do so much in the center. Okay. All right. I'll be back when I get all of that done. Uh, seven pages worth. All right. Actually, 14. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, possibly fifteen. Because you know, you know, I'm insane. All right, we'll be back. It's going to use a lot of Mod Podge. Uh, you know, that's always the binder that I use. I've got my squirt bottle and my others here. So, yep, I'm just going to start gluing some stuff down. All right, we'll chat soon. Fine with this. So I'm working on these two simultaneously. That one. Now you might think, oh my gosh, what are all these colors? Well, these are like the napkins from the transparency pack. This is a sewing, this is music sheets. So these are all in the transparency pack. Here's some Citrusol pages. Um, so what I'm just doing is I'm just creating some texture. Um, what I'm gonna put over the top of this is most likely uh, the, um, Mm, something shimmery or just like the uh, 
something vintage, uh, so maybe a little walnut stain, it'll all end up being the same color. So, ish, it'll be all similar colors. You don't have to really worry about the fact that it's not exactly uh, you know, brown or you know, whatever color, because it doesn't have to be. We're going to paint it. Uh, what we're looking for right now is uh, texture and interest, and this has both of those, right? And both texture and interest by doing it this way. And this will be my background on this. Um, You know, I'm, I'm doing this as a background. This one we're just going to tear off. Making a huge mess on my table again. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So you might want to see how I'm doing that since this is dry enough, mostly dry enough. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Uh, these pieces are those I can use. Those I don't want to use. Those I don't want to use. stack. Mm. Puppy's going to wake up soon. He's going to need to go to the bathroom. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? What you up to? Yep, too. Oh, careful. Okay. Don't get stuck behind my chair, Goofus. Goofus Rufus. I'm just going to bring another strip of music in. Let's copy that music piece. And put this all in.
Sinclair treated. He loves Anna Sinclair one. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> I've got to go take him out. So we're going to finish this. Well, that's great. Power just went off. The generator did not come on. Power to the whole place went off. What the hell happened now? Why didn't the generator go back on? Why would the electricity have gone off? I had two lights on. Christ almighty. Okay, guys. I've got to go figure it out what happened now. So, Bye. um, yeah. All right, there's that guy all cut out. I'll start gluing that together. I do need to finish these last two pages. These have now finally dried. A little dead space right there, huh? Okay, they're really becoming nice and heavy. I like that. I love these guys. See, once you find your your patterns, you know that's a sewing pattern. The different napkins, and they really all do become very transparent. Um, you know, this one with the polka dots. Look how beautiful that turned out. This one's great. Those are all in that transparency pack too. This probably needs a little bit more transparency stuff over it up in here maybe. I like how these are, I love how these look actually. This is gorgeous. That blue one's really pretty. I knew that one would be pretty though. Okay, let's do these guys first here. And um, you probably don't need to watch me minute for minute with this, right? You guys know how I did this last one. I think I showed you the last one. I think I did. So this is just kind of um, this book, this prepping these two layouts has taken me all day. Um, minus the uh, emergency trip to town so that I could get to a telephone because without the electricity here, there is no telephone or internet service or anything. You're dead. So luckily, and I was worried, actually, we have a gate on the property, um, worried that the gate wouldn't open since the electricity was down. That would make sense, you know. Luckily, the gate opened. Thank God. This has been, it's been hard, <laughs> dang it. I don't need any more of this crap. Little boy dog. I'm just going to keep using this because it's the right size. I like the lettering. And we'll put the other pieces over the top of it. Oops. Splotching. Splution. I'm sure as heck not going to meet a boyfriend sitting here every night with you guys. But, oh well. I'm going to Europe in a few days anyways. Well, a couple weeks. The last thing I need to be is worried about it. some man while I'm gone. Not that I would find a miracle anyway. Pretty rare. There we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Alright, that's junk. Here, let's get this guy down. Well, let's go ahead and do this side too at the same time. I'm just using whatever paper's here on my desk. And I'll come back in and put more more over the top. Just trying to get this. Covered.
Sounds like the Forerunner. But Craig isn't here anymore. Kelly and Craig went home, uh, of course, today. And so then the, the uh, power line went down after they left. Thankfully for them, I was here. So not all their food rotted and all of that. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop it there for tonight. I've gotten a lot done. While we're not here, um, I will go through and glue all of these together. Super simple, guys. You know, you don't need me to tell you how to you know, glue individually. You know, the, it's not rocket science. Do you have to glue everyone? I don't know, do you? I probably will because that's how I do things. Um, I'm not putting a huge thick layer on, uh, but I think it would be better if you did. Am I going to be able to get that uh, flat enough? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if I can uh, pull this down here a little bit more. Okay, that's still wet and I just stuck it together. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go through and glue these just like I was saying and uh, you know, try to clean up some of my desk here. And then hopefully tomorrow I can work on both of these together. Um, I guess my Seth after link didn't work. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. I'll double check it, so. 
Okay, guys, love you bunches, and we will chat soon. All right, it was a crazy day. Crazy day. Dang it.